short section, something you'll use over and over again for the rest of the year. Okay. First, we're going to talk about what a transversal is. draw them very similar to how I draw them here. They're obviously not parallel. Agreed? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then that's line L and line M. Now I'm going to draw a transversal. <coughs> now, my ruler, does that look like it would represent a transversal right there? Is it a line that intersects two or more lines at different points? Yes. Yeah. How about this one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. This one? Yes. Yeah. No, stop. Don't say that word. Shut up. <laughs> I don't need your help. We're going to call it line T. Is a transversal. Can anybody tell me what's created? When, a, when it intersected this line, what was created? <coughs> huh? Uh, angles? Wasn't it? When this line intersected here, how many angles were made? Four. 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 Call this angle one, angle two, angle three, and angle four. When then when the line got down to here, how many angles did it create? Four. Four. We'll call this angle five, labeled the same way I do, angle six, angle seven, and angle eight. What this section about is about how these angles relate to these angles. The two, <coughs> I don't know, uh, quads of angles that are corrected. The two little pods of angles. When this transversal intersects here, there's four angles created. When it intersects here, there's four angles created. Okay? Make sure I label those angles. Now, I'm going to write down the types of angles that are created. Write this down with me, and then I want you to listen. We're going to talk about different types of angles. One, we're going to talk about what is called, first of all, we need to understand what interior angles are and what exterior angles are. Tell me what the interior angles, what would you, if you were guessing person, what would you guess that the interior angles would be here? The inside, inside angles. angles. Well, which ones would you think that would be? Inside angle five, six. Five, six. Angle four, <laughs> angle three, <laughs> angle five, and angle six. It kind of looks that way because it looks like these two lines are kind of enclosed. Like if I drew, don't draw this, but if I, you know, drew a line here, a line here, here's the inside of the house, here's the front yard, here's the backyard, right? Okay? And you would be exactly right. Okay? Those are 
are the interior angles? What are the exterior angles? One, two, eight, seven. One, two, angle eight, seven. One, angle two. Seven and eight. And angle seven. Okay, those are on the outside. You guys are okay with that, right? Okay, so you should be able to tell interior angles from exterior angles. The very important thing we're going to classify here is really kind of the important ones are these. One, I need you to understand what alternate interior angles are. Second type is going to be alternate <coughs> exterior angles. one is going to be <laughs> corresponding angles. <coughs> the last one is going to be same side interior angles. these are and be able to identify them with respect to a transversal. looking at this picture. Looking right up here. And I was to tell you what the alternate interior angles were. Would you give me an example of a set of alternate interior angles? Yes. Alternate interior angles. What would they be? He said four and six. Does that make sense to you guys? I didn't say it was wrong. Oh, because some of the different sides ain't uh, the line. Here's the deal. Here's what you guys need to remember. And this is probably, I, I should probably make this the most important thing. <coughs> we already have words to describe how those four angles relate to each other. Yeah. These are linear pair. Aren't they one and two are linear pair? Would you agree with that? Two and three are linear pair, three and four, and four and one, right? What are one and three to each other? What type of angles? Now look at me, look up there. I guess alternate. Huh? No, when two lines intersect, the opposite angles are what, Court? Transverse. When, op when two lines intersect, what are the opposite angles called? You just said it. What did he say? Transverse. Exactly. <coughs> Be quiet, leave him alone. You don't need to comment to him about something he says. Unless you know the answer. Huh? They are called court. Quit trying to justify everything you're doing and just please listen. They're called vertical angles. When two lines intersect, the opposite angles are congruent. You remember that? Yeah. They're called vertical angles. 
Okay, so we already have words to identify or talk about when four, you know, you have all four line things together, right? If I was to cover these two up, these are a linear pair, five and six, right? Because they add to 180, six and seven. Which ones are vertical angles? Five and seven. Six and eight and five and seven, right? Yeah. So we already have things that relate these, this little pod of four separate from the other. You know what all these do? Relate angles from up here to angles down here. So, our four interior angles are four, three, five, and six. Would everyone agree with that? Yes. Four, three, five, and six. If these are our interior angles, which ones would you make sense that were alternate? Four, four. four is on the six. alternate side of six, isn't it? So, a pair of alternate interior angles are angle four and angle what? Six. Comma. <coughs> now there's another set of alternate tier angles there. What other ones alternate? Angle three. They're on they're on the inside and they alternate along that transversal, right? Mm -hmm. So angle three and angle five. So those are the alternate interior angles. Does that make sense? See how they alternate? Now look at this, and let's talk about the alternate exterior angles. The exterior angles are what? Uh, One, two, two eight, eight, seven. seven. Which ones do you think alternate? One, seven, seven and one. Two and eight. Seven and one or one and seven? You guys okay with that? See how one alternates around the transversal to seven? So angle one and angle seven. What about here? What is there another set? Angle two, two and eight. eight. Angle two and angle eight. How easy is that? That is that easy to understand. Let's skip corresponding for now and let's go down to same side interior angles. Okay, what type of angles am I talking about? In interior. Same side interior angles. Give me an example of those. What would make sense? They are on they're kind of yeah, they're on the same thing, but remember, those are a linear pair. Remember with these, and, and that's a, not a bad answer. I'm relating things from down here to things what? Up there. Up there. Three and six. So, aren't three and six on the same side? Yeah. If four and six are alternate, wouldn't it make sense that three and six are on the same side? Yeah. yeah. So, same side. angle three and angle what? Six. Six. Ah, wrong one. Make sure you write on the right one. Don't make a mistake like I did. Because we skipped a space there. Now, what other same side interior angles do you think we'd have? Four and five. Four and five. Now, as much as I wish they would have uh, used same side interior angles, this is the only book I've ever seen that word used. What they usually use is consecutive interior angles. Okay, so if you take it in the instruction test, you may see consecutive interior angles instead of same side interior angles. Okay? Consecutive, though, they're on the interior and they're consecutive. So that's three and six, four and five, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, the one thing left here is corresponding angles. Now, the other three have either been exterior or what? Interior. interior. Does corresponding have anything to do with exterior or interior? No. No. So I'm taking interior and exterior out of the equation. Here's what I want you to think about things that correspond. When you think of things corresponding, does anybody have a, a what do you think of? You know, in your own words, it can be as dumb an answer as you want it to be. The moment when you think this corresponds to this, what do you think? Why? Because it has angles. Okay, now think and try to answer. 
What do you think of the word when you hear corresponding? Corresponding just say like some, something that, you know, if something corresponds to something else. You've heard oh, yeah. that word before, right? Yeah, correspond. Couldn't, um, all right, let's see. Do you think of them kind of the same, possibly? Maybe. In, in some way, they're the same, right? Because they correspond to each other. Would everyone agree with that? And when things correspond, they're kind of the same in some way. And that's really what these are here. And what really the corresponding is dealing with here is if you look at it here, in essence, there's four angles created in the same way. There's the one on the top left, the top right, bottom right, bottom left, right? Yeah. Then the transversal comes down here. It creates one on the top left, top right, bottom right, bottom left, right? Yeah. Would you agree with that? Okay, now, what do you think corresponds? What do you think corresponds to one? Eight. 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 Seven. No. Five. Three. Five. No, uh, it's three. Five. I said three. It's Why five. do you think three corresponds? <laughs> because they're in front? Yeah. Okay, that's not a bad answer. Eight. They're about the same angle. But remember, I already got a name for that. They're called vertical angles, right? Oh, yeah. It's and I'm, I, hey, think of it, guys. I'm comparing one from up here to one down here. What's the one like one up here, five. down five. here? Five. It's in the same five, right? What do you think? Five? Cinco. I agree. Five's the one like one. So guess what? An example of corresponding angles are angle one and angle what? Five. Why? Because they're kind of the same one. You know, they're kind of the same location. There's a bundle of four created every time, top left, top left. What one corresponds with angle two? Six. It's top right, top right, isn't it? What one corresponds to angle four? Eight. <coughs> yep. What one corresponds to angle three? Seven. Not so bad, is it? So do we understand the concept of corresponding alternate interior, alternate exterior, and same side interior? Yeah. Now, same or anything, right? Nothing special. Well, the whole reason we learn about this is because you should have a completely different opinion when I draw two parallel lines and cut them by a trend with a transversal. <laughs> so do your best to draw two sets of parallel lines. two lines that are parallel. I've got the same situation. This is line L, this is line M, and we'll call this line T. But in this case, L is parallel to M. Alternate 
interior angles. That's what? Four and what? Six, five, and three. What does it look like four relates to six? What do you think, D? Like five and three. Um, if you were guessing and going by looks, they both what do you think, Christian? It looks like the same angles. It looks like the same angles? In other words, what do they look like they are? Congruent. 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 Well, what about three and five? Do they look congruent? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 Does this angle not look like yeah. it's the same? Um, they, are they all look congruent. Well, not all of them. Yeah. Guess what? Alternate tier angles when they're parallel. That's why I wanted you to see the difference. When they're not parallel, they sure don't look congruent, do they? When they are parallel, what do they look like they, they look are? They look all the same. Not, not all, all of them. Not all. I didn't mean all. I just meant some. In other words, it looks like this is congruent to what? Yeah, that. And this? That is congruent to that. Would everyone agree? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Why don't you agree, Cliff? <laughs> Shh. I don't need any help. I'm tired of you guys talking to each other during notes. Don't speak to each other. Because you're just jacking around. And I'm sick of it. There's other people in here that like to learn if you guys don't want to. Alternate exterior angles. Well, one and seven are alternate exterior, exterior angles, correct? <coughs> How does it look like one relates to seven? Opposite angles. Alternate. They're alternate interior angles, but what do they look like they are? Do they look like they're the same <coughs> angle? Yeah. Guess what? They are. <coughs> so one is congruent to seven, and two is congruent to what? Eight. Eight. Alternate interior angles. Stop. It would be all right. They are congruent. <coughs> Next thing, corresponding angles. Look at angle one and angle five. What do they look like they should be? What? Angle one and angle five. Uh, same side. Okay. Does anybody look like, how do you think one relates to five? They're on the same side. Well, what have we been talking about? Congruent. Do you think one is congruent to five? Yes. What about two and six? Yes. yes. Three and seven. Yes. Four and eight. Yes. So when the lines are parallel, what do you think about the corresponding angles? They are what? I have a question, Coach. Not yet. One more. Same side, interior angles. So then wasn't the same side? These were corresponding. Angle one is top left, angle five is top left. These are same side what? What's the key word here? Interior. One is an exterior angle, five is an interior angle. When I say same side, interior, I'm talking about interior. Come on, listen. I'm listening. Look up there. Four and five? Well, we already established that same side interior angles would be four and five and three and six, right? Yeah. Oh. Do they look like they're necessarily congruent? Yeah. I heard a plus, half no's and half yeses. Yeah. No. Yes. Yes. Do do these? No, 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 they don't. No, no. They don't. No. Guess what? They are not congruent. There is one that's different, but they still relate to each other in a special way. They are linear pairs add to 180, that is correct. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about, the slope of the slope. But 3 and 6 are not necessarily, are not linear pairs. They are what is known as same side interior angles, and when the two lines are what? Parallel. 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 
Transversal creates all of these, and they relate to each other in this way. <coughs> Guys, if you will look at this a little closer, when the two lines are cut by a transversal, First of all, let's just say I said this angle is 30 degrees. What's angle 6 then? 30. Well, if this is 30, what's this? This is 30. What's this? 30. How can they all be 30? They're not all 30. If this is 30, what's this one? 150. Why? Because it's really with your pair. So what do these have to do? Add to? 180. This is 150. What's this one? 150. This is 150. What's this one? 150. This is 150, what's this one? 150. So when they're parallel, how many different angle measures are there? Two yeah. different ones, they're either 30 or they're 150. Now, if you look at these, and you look at this transversal right here, okay, everybody look up here. Angle one and angle two, y'all would say we're beside each other, right? How do they relate to each other? Angle one and angle two. They both they add to what? They add to one eight. Let's say add to one eight. Let's make it simple. What about angle two and angle four? Are they right beside each other? No. They're kind of opposite each other, aren't they? Yeah. What are they? Congruent. Congruent, right? Angle two and angle three, are they beside each other? Yeah. Or on top or on top of each other, you would say? Yeah. How does angle two relate to angle three? Angle three and angle four. They're right beside each other on right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Angle three and angle one, are they kind of opposite or alternate? Yeah. What are they? Congruent, right? Do they add to 180? No, they're congruent. So, so far, the ones that were opposite each other or alternate are what? Congruent. The ones that are beside or on top of each other, what do they do? 180. Now let's look from here to here. Is angle four kind of alternate? Six? Mm -hmm. What are they? Congruent. congruent. Is angle four and angle five right beside each other? Yep. What do they do? Is angle six and angle three on top or beside each other? Yes. They add to what? 180. Is angle five alternate angle three? Yes. What are they? Congruent. Five and eight are beside each other. What, how do they relate to each other? They add to 180. We're on top of each other. Six and seven, they're on top of each other. Well, how do they relate? Add to 180. Five and six, they're beside each other. How do they relate? Add to 180, right? Eight and seven, they're beside each other. What do they do? Five and seven are opposite or alternate each other. What are they? Six and eight are what? Alternate or opposite. What are they? So if they're alternate or opposite, what are they? If they're beside or on what? Top. They what? Add to one eight. They're directly beside each other, they add to 180. They're opposite each other, they're what? That's how this all relates and how it does every time. So that's really pretty easy to do, and that's a good start for today. We'll do the worksheet and stuff on Monday. I'll let you get started on your assignment today. So can I split this? Because this I like to be long with this because if you understand the concept of this, it's easy. And it's something we'll use over and over again.
If you don't understand how to do a problem because maybe we needed to do a few more examples, skip it, leave space to do it, go on to the next one. Okay? But we'll do the worksheet first thing we get here Monday, kind of finish the second half of the notes. Somebody at the door. Yeah, that's what I thought too. You're all right. Come here. <laughs>